When you add a file such as a PDF into Canvas, you put it on a page and it'll give you a link and a small little preview icon. You can click that preview and it gives you a great preview. You can scroll through and look at those pages. Some of the times faculty want where the PDF is just showing and you can actually do that using Google Drive and I'll show you how to do that real quick. So let's take a look. I've set up a page within Canvas and I've added a PDF like you normally would and here students would click the link, they could download it or they would click that preview. Now when they click on preview depending on the size of the PDF it can take a little bit to load but you get a wonderful preview window here. So what if you want to have that window showing instead of making it clickable? Well you can do that using Google Drive. So first we need to go into Google Drive and you would upload the PDF however you normally would. And here is one that I have already loaded. When you double click on it, it opens in a Google Drive preview window. So here you would be able to scroll through, look at this PDF and see what it is. Now, to get the embed code that we need to put it into Canvas, you first need to open it in its own window. Instead of a Google Drive preview, want it a preview in its own window. So click on the three dots up here go down to open in new window and here you're going to see that it previews outside of the Google Drive preview. This is standalone by itself. Now at this point when you click the three dot menu again you'll see you have the embed item code. Now before you do that though when you first upload any item into Google Drive it's going to be restricted to only you to view. So since we're going to be grabbing an iframe code and it links to that file here, this preview, we want to make sure that anyone with that link or viewing that iframe would be able to see that file. So go into the three dot menu, click on share. Here you can see get link at the bottom, it says it's restricted. Go ahead, click on that and change it from restricted to anyone with the link. Once it's updated, now when you grab that iframe code and put it within Canvas, anyone that is viewing that code will be able to see that preview. So now we can go to the three dot menu, say embed item, simply double click and copy that code. And then we're going to go back within Canvas. I'm going to edit this page. Um, wherever you want to add in that uh, embed code, you definitely want to add a few spaces in here so you can find where to put that. Now we're going to go down into the code view, raw HTML view. That's the brackets at the bottom. Click on that. Now you can see those spaces here. Let's just take this middle one and we're going to paste that iframe embed code. You can see that links to that preview, that separate window. And now I'm going to click save. And there you go. Now you have this wonderful small little window without having to click a preview. So just a different way to do the same thing. So instead of clicking the preview document here, we've already embedded it with the preview in there. Students would also click on the pop out and this would open in a new window. So if it's too small with on a phone, uh, they could always click on that and open it in a new window. So this is just two options to do the same thing. But if you have any questions, call the CTL. We'd be glad to help you with this.